think most people are familiar now with the social model of disability. The social model of disability argues that someone can have an impairment, this is not a disability. So for example, someone may have an accident and lose the use of their legs, that's an impairment. They are disabled by being expected to have to use stairs. And this is unfair. And the responsible response to that is to create a world where you don't need to use stairs. And we should be doing that because we know there are some people who simply cannot use them. So why are we building them when there are better alternatives that everyone can use? Now this model can be applied to specific learning differences. I'm dyslexic. That's not the disability. The disability is when I'm expected to be able to process information like everybody else. Well, I can't. I can't hold on to strings of information. I can't uh, be organised in very sequential time-based ways. So why do you expect me to be able to do that? That's disabling. And what I need is a world where that I'm not expected to be like that. Now people are confused, I think, about this in relation to dyslexia. So I use an analogy which I think is helpful. If it was very important in our education system to be able to use our right hand very well. We would notice that not everyone could. There'd be a range of reasons why they can't. And we could develop tests which can in some sense objectively measure the difficulties people have. It may be fine motor control, it may be strength, it may be a range of things but we could measure those very accurately. We could standardise the measurements. We could then identify people who are dystextric, if, if I can call it a term. Um, now, if we looked further, we'd begin to notice that a lot of the people we are identifying as dystextric um, are actually left-handed. They don't have an impairment they're left-handed. The problem is we're expecting them to use their right hand when they use their left hand. So the, me the fact that we can measure a specific difficulty doesn't mean that there's a deficit or an impairment. And the measurements themselves tell us very little indeed about the nature of being left-handed in a right-handed world or indeed what we need to do about it to make that a fairer world. And so it is with dyslexia. You can measure the difficulties we have with a whole range of things. But that tells you very little about the nature of being dyslexic. And if you want to understand what it means to be dyslexic, you need to understand what the core differences are. And at the moment, very few people are attempting to do that.